I'm a little sad. The weather is really nice. And I can't, I can't ride my bike because I have, I have to pack. Okay, so this is week six of my weight loss health fitness journey that I'm posting on YouTube. This was another difficult week. Uh, this week and the following week are going to be incredibly busy for me. So I am moving. So with all that going on, I had a really hard time this week. I had a really hard time with the idea of tracking calories. I just, I have a hard time with it. I don't like writing things down every single day. I don't like putting things in my fitness pal. I'm just not a fan of using my phone to track the food that I'm eating. It's just, it gets a little much. So because of that, and because of the fact that I'm just so busy, this week I chose convenience over health. That meant that I got takeout probably three times this week. I discovered Uber Eats for the first time and that's super dangerous. I didn't even get a chance to bike ride. And that, I had this goal that uh, if any of you watched the last video I did of doing a hundred miles, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was thinking that, you know, I could do it if I really tried, but honestly, I knew that I needed to conserve my energy for the kind of labor that I would be doing at the condo. Yeah, so I felt like, okay, I'm gonna prioritize like the strength training this week and not do the cardio because those bike rides, to be honest, can take a lot out of me too. And I wanted to just make sure that I had the energy to do what I needed to do. But that doesn't excuse my eating behavior this week. I wanna make sure that people aren't thinking that I'm super successful all the time because guys, I'm not, especially when when it comes to health and fitness. So for the last three months, I've been you know, tracking my calories and my body has stayed at 177. So my weigh in, I'm gonna do this early because it's not that exciting. I am 176.8. So obviously like my body is just not changing. Nothing is changing. So I wanna now do something that's gonna change my metabolism and kind of shake my body up because what I'm doing right now is just maintaining my weight. What I think I wanna do, because I'm actually moving in with a friend who has been very successful on the keto diet, and I've done keto before. I think there's good things, there's bad things, there's things I like about it, there's things I really don't like about it. No carbs is ridiculous. I can't even have an apple. What I was thinking of doing is doing the keto diet, but making it more of my own version. So out there, there are two diets that have been pretty popular in the last couple of years, actually. The paleo diet and the keto diet. They're both restrictive diets. And what I mean by that is for people who have a not so great relationship with food, a diet usually doesn't work because we're being told that we can't have things rather than being told about all the things that we can have and how good it is for our body and how it's gonna make us feel. That's what I don't like about diet culture. A lot of people have adapted the keto diet and made it their lifestyle. I know for a fact that I am not one of those people. So I've done keto before, I was successful, I lost some weight, but it's not something that I can do for the rest of my life. And I've come to the conclusion, the reason for that is that I like apples and I love potatoes. I know it's because I'm Irish and Scottish, but like I love potatoes. Potatoes are the most amazing food I've ever encountered in my life. I mean, guys, just like a baked potato. I will eat just a potato like cooked, but a potato. So that's why I was intrigued by the paleo diet because the paleo diet, you can have potatoes, you can have certain fruits. Keto diet, no fruit, except for strawberries and blueberries, no potatoes. But paleo, depending on who you talk to because everybody has an opinion about what counts as paleo, you're not allowed to have cheese or dairy. Things that come from animals because they assume, I'm not gonna knock paleo because there might be people watching my channel who are fans of paleo, but the logic behind it bothers me. We don't know what people actually ate back in the paleolithic era. We don't, we just don't know it. Come at me. 
But paleo, so you can't have cheese, right? And then you also can't have alcohol. But I enjoy a beverage every so often, you know? And I don't, and for me personally, it's not something that I abuse. Uh, I abuse food, I abuse french fries, but when it comes to alcohol, I have like a two drink limit if I ever drink. But the idea of not being able to drink at all for 30 days, I don't like that. I don't wanna do that. And then I go to back to keto, and I'm like, the idea of not being able to eat like an apple or a banana or a potato for 30 days, it sounds silly. It just sounds silly. So I thought I'm gonna do my own version of this combination of the two diets. Kind of sounds like I'm saying that I'm gonna eat everything, but that's not the case. What I'm gonna do is I am going to combine them. I'm still trying to come up with a name for it. Pedo, sounds a little strange. Kaleo, sounds like I'm eating kale. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to come up with something maybe just as simple as keto paleo or eating whole foods and trying to just not eat processed foods because that's all this is really about, guys. I have decided though that because I'm moving in with a friend who does do keto on a regular basis and he makes amazing food and I will document some of that, that I am actually just going to do a keto slash modified paleo challenge for the next 30 days and i have the date in mind on july 15th i'm gonna have one of those like before and after videos so just to just to see if anything's changed still gonna post once a week because i do want to get back into biking i do want to get back into that cycling challenge where i do 100 miles a week so once i officially move next week i should be prepared to get back on the saddle and out there and doing my bike riding thing so that's what that's my plan that's what's going to happen and i'll do weekly tuesday weigh-in videos just to kind of give you the progress here one thing i will say about keto is when i've done it in the past sometimes you don't lose weight but your body definitely changes its shape so that's why i'm taking my measurements and that's why i'm actually going to take some pictures of before and after just to make sure that you know all the hard work is somehow paying off right I guess that's it. I kind of don't want to stop this because right when I end filming this, I have to go back to the condo and finish painting and I need to finish packing and I have to do all the stuff that I just don't want to do. All right. Well, I hope that everybody else has a great week um, and that everybody realizes that they don't have to be perfect. We're calling this a journey for a reason. I don't know if there's a destination point but it is really important that we keep going and that we keep supporting each other as much as possible on YouTube and in your real life, uh, that you support the people that are trying to lose their weight and become healthier versions of themselves. All right, well, I will uh, see you guys next week.